armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons. But every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. Armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons. But every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. In the little streets of Belfast in the dark of early morn, British soldiers came running, breaking little homes with scorn. Hear the sobs of crying children, dragging fathers from their bed. Watch the scene as helpless mothers watch the blood fall from their heads. Armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons. But every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. Armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons. But every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. Not for them a judge or jury, or indeed a crime at all. Being Irish means they're guilty, so they're guilty one and all. Round the world the truth will echo, Cromwell's men are here again. England's name again is sullied in the eyes of honest men. Armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons. But every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. Armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons. But every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. Proudly march behind our banner, proudly march behind our men. We will have them free to help us build a nation once again. On the people step together, proudly marching on your way. Never fear or never falter till the boys come home to stay. Armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons. But every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. Armored cars and tanks and guns came to take away our sons. But every man must stand behind the men behind the wire. Hello and welcome to Police Take, a show about local law enforcement and what it takes. You know, Sergeant Diggs, I gotta just say something right off the baton here. Mm -hmm. I was at one of these police brutality marches the other day, uh, protecting these infants' freedom, oh. and, and one of these babies starts up, serve and protect who? Serve and protect who? So uh, let's just say uh, I took care of them. Mm. Yeah, I know, I was questioned on un use of unnecessary force last month. What's up with that? Well, uh, let me tell you, kid. They can't complain if they ain't got a jaw, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, we, we're in the middle of a shoot, as you can see. Besides, anyway, I remember the days when you could walk the streets at night, feel safe. You didn't have the curfew? Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. I mean, before all the drugs and violence, the days of heroes and great men and villains locked up in their respective cages, Pre all this Miranda nonsense. Amen. Yeah. Anyway, to tell you the truth, it's not like it's a component to the Bill of Rights or nothing. Yeah? Bill of what? Who? Hey, I, I got a question for you, Vets. Shoot. How do you go about a 419? Ooh. GTA? Well, uh, last Lassany? No, that's the uh, dogs off the leash. Oh, 419. Okay, well, what you want to do in that case, in my experience, is you want to, when the, when the owner sees you coming, they're going to try and, oh, and yeah. snap the dog back on the leash. So what you want to do is to separate the two to get the story straight, you know, see if they match. If they match. Well, for my money, and, you know, we don't get paid enough of it. Seriously, seriously. There's then, of course, it. the dog will pretend not to speak English, so you got to give him a stern look in the eye and let him know you mean business. Oh, yeah. And give him a ticket and tell him to have a nice day. And that is how I got this scar. Wow, you guys are wise. 
I feel like I should have had to climb a mountain to sit next to you guys. You guys are my heroes. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, he's a good kid. And now I have to bring this up. I was completely offended by the last episode of Cops. Let's take a look. 